Hi. Can you see me? Over here. Please, come this way. I thought I heard a familiar voice. Is it coming from the painting? It sure does. Ah, you're here. Wonderful. Oh, I... I thought you wouldn't notice me. Welcome to the Gallery of Thoughts. You can think of this as the entrance to the Golden Hour. I'm here to provide guidance to our guests. Is this some weird acid trip that I'm going into? This whole place looks weird. This is a temporary interchange, so it looks a little rundown. The reverie in the dreamscape is currently undergoing a revamp. I apologize for any unpleasantness in your stay, but if you enter the golden hour, I'm sure all your troubles will dissipate in an instant. Golden Hour is one of the 12 dreamscapes in Panacone, and its time coincides with midnight. Here, the dream's time is forever stuck in the moment before midnight. Tomorrow will not come, and this night of revelry will never end. Uh, but that doesn't mean that time is stopped in the dream. To avoid any physical or mental burden on guests, time in the dream has been synced with realities. So don't worry. I'm still confused. Behind this door is the real Panacone. I'm looking forward to it. I think it's not. I feel like the Hulk just falling down and destroying that floor. What? Am I that strong? I think I'm hallucinating. The fall didn't hurt at all. <laughs> well, you are in the dreamscape after all. Oh. <laughs> Seems like our guest here hasn't gotten used to the transition. Fret not. Feeling a sense of weightlessness is normal for new visitors. Robin, please guide our friend in getting more comfortable with the new environment. Leave it to me. I have a feeling that she's... Kinda... Hmm... Her eyes. Is she telling something odd? Is she in trouble? Oh my goodness. What is happening in my mind right now? Don't worry. Just relax. You'll be feeling like your normal self in no time. Inhale. Oh no. Okay. So what just happened? You should be feeling fully in control now. <laughs> Welcome to Panacone. So that's a fix? What does that mean? What did you just what did you just do to me? I merely changed your state of mind for you to feel more at ease. Oh, okay. Relax. Just did some tuning on you with the resonance of the harmony. 
to allow you to control your limbs freely in the dreamscape. Essentially, the dream of Panacone is a world formed by memoria. Only by fully understanding its nature can you move freely within it. It's like learning to swim. It's easy to sink at first when you aren't accustomed to the water, but once you get the hang of it, you can float and swim on the surface effortlessly. Does that mean I can levitate in the air? Like I did earlier? <laughs> well, theoretically you can, but it would be very difficult to pull off. After all, we don't really have an in-depth understanding of the Memoria yet. Unless you're one of the memo keepers of the Garden of Recollection, it can be difficult at first to manipulate the Memoria as you wish. Once you've been tuned by the Harmony, you can use the same laws of physics from the real world to understand how the dream world works. So literally, I can do anything. Okay. Oh, oops. <laughs> I've fallen into my professional habits again. I just can't seem to shake off this urge to be a know-it-all. <laughs> Don't mind him. He's always like that. Please, enjoy the beautiful dreamscape the family has built for everyone. We shall take our leave. Have a blast! Look at this place. Oh, wow. Whoa! Oh my god, I'm on the way! Oh my god, leave me alone! Whoa, 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 whoa! No, no, no! Why are you following me? No! What the? No! So how can I move these? Um... Wait. Oh, that's so crazy. Oh my goodness. Look at that frame! So it vanishes... These platform... What does this do? Wait. Oh, okay. Oh, that's it. That is a creepy eyeball. Trailblazers from the Astral Experience. Welcome to Dreamscape Sage. How do you know who I am? It's the magic of psychoanalysis, madam. <laughs> Dr. Edward is happy to assist you. Here's where you get to experience all sorts of fascinating dreamscapes. From the top-notch productions of Grot Studios to uh, private donations. <laughs> we have it all. If I'm not mistaken, this is your first visit to Pentacle, isn't it? Yes. Please be rest assured that Dr. Ed will provide the best service you can find in helping you purchase your first dreamscape and indulge in an exclusive and marvelous dreamland journey. <laughs> um, how did you become a doctor in the first place? In fact, the Ryan Analysis. I'm sure you'll be a fan of this. It's a contribution from an anonymous donor, and is said to contain the memory of the fallen Ian Nakivili. I can assure you, 
And this dream is perfect for you. How many credits do I have to pay? Is this not free? Oh, okay. It's on the house. All right. Let's begin. Please close your eyes and rest your forehead against the dream. Trailblazer from the Astral Express. Do you plead guilty? What is happening? How did Pom Pom became a judge? What is going on? I won't make any explanatory or leading comments on the content of this dream bubble. In the dream bubble, you will be living through another person's past memories. You will experience what the original owner of the memory once experienced. When I first experienced some of the dream bubbles way back in Herta Space Station, it was all darkness. And this is the first time that I've seen a cynic memory yes, when deep players are missing from the dream bubble your subconscious will make up for it by substituting the missing content with something similar the sins you've committed are beyond pardon but i respect every individual's right to carry out volunteer work this does this really happened give this place a thorough cleaning oh okay Wait, I'm Aki Billy now? I'm so confused. Do I have to do the voiceover for Aki Billy myself? <laughs> My apologies. When I received this dream bubble, some of the audio tracks were missing. Perhaps even the memorial is unable to transmit the voice of Aki Billy. So I'm gonna improvise then. However, I can make some adjustments to the dream bubble to improve your experience. Meaning you can choose anyone's voice for Akavillis. As long as it's a voice you're familiar with, I'll be able to replicate it in your subconscious. You sneaked into the high -E zoo and splurged half an Amber Era's crew budget on 250 nose walker cubs. You kept them in the restroom, where they were left to breed and multiply uncontrollably, causing other carriages to be filled with sewage. Do you plead guilty to this accusation? How many counts do I need to plead guilty? <sighs> yes, I plead guilty. You barged into the kitchen of the dining carriage, claiming that the whole area needed disinfection. This resulted in the loss of 42 crispy crumbly pom-pom pies. And because you also took the last serving of the express special in the fridge, I was left I think this is all minor infractions. <laughs> you plead guilty to this charge? Yes, I'm guilty of this too. The first one is clearly oh, a wait. result of your own doing, but I do admit to consuming the last serving of the express special. So I'm partially guilty. No, you are not. Could there be anyone worse than me? Of course there is! Then who it is? Who? That guy who blew up the train into two pieces! Huh? That's all for the content of this dream bubble. How is your experience? What do all this have to do with Aki Billy? Oh, you won't answer it again. Okay. <laughs> this dream bubble aligns with what you desire in your subconscious. If you're interested in experiencing the dream bubble again, you can purchase it with credits. Well, are you going to buy it? Um, should I buy it now? Okay. How much is it? Oh, it's a hundred thousand. That's fine. 
I thought it was a million. Thank you. <laughs> Hope to see you next time. Watch your step now. Don't even think about running away. You stow away. Sorry for bothering you. Please, I need your help. How can I help? And who is she? Hey, look! She has an accomplice. Ha! Good work! Now we can nab them both in one go! Oh, really? I will protect all beauty in the universe! Perfect. Now's my chance. <laughs> That's enough, boys. Uh, sir, sir, what's gotten into you all? Open your eyes and take a good look. Is this lady the stowaway we're looking for? Huh? Who... who's this? Uh, don't you know him? Look at his brown hair and grey vest. Uh, he's the officer, sent here by the family to maintain order at the Charmony Festival. I see. Sir, the thing is, we're trying to apprehend a stowaway. And that young lady there looks very suspicious. We're sure she's the one. She doesn't look... Really like a stowaway. Look at her dress and her hair. And her eyes. That's nonsense. Take another look, will ya? The witness report says that the suspect is a lad with silver hair. And you guys are going after a girl with silver hair. Does that even make sense? She's our guest. Oh. <laughs> well, just get out of my way and I'll take care of this. Yes, yes sir. Sorry for all the trouble you went through back there. I'm Gallagher from the Bloodhound family, and those idiots are some young bloodhounds I've been training. Because of their youth and inexperience, they mistook an honored guest of Penacone for a criminal. This is indeed a regrettable mistake. I'd like to offer my sincerest apology to you on behalf of the Bloodhound family. Who are the Bloodhound family? I'm not familiar with it. The Bloodhound family are guards of the Dreamscape. We're in charge of security here, and our duties include arresting people who try to enter our world illegally. We got a tip that some criminals were planning to take advantage of the festivities around the Charmony Festival to sneak into Penacone. Now that the festival is just around the corner, there are likely many shady characters lurking around. <sighs> Don't worry. I believe this is just a misunderstanding. How could such a lovely girl like you be a stowaway? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <gasps> Thanks. Without your kind help, I wouldn't know what to do. Just part of the job. <laughs> I need to get going. If you need help, you can reach out to me through the young bloodhounds in this area. I wish you an enjoyable experience in this land of dreams. I owe you a big one. If it hadn't been for you, I might have been taken away by them. I'm happy to help. Thank you so much. By the way, I've just noticed. You're a nameless, right? Is this your first time here on Penacone? How do you know? You have the Astral Express badge on you. I saw it on the big screen once. I also know that you guys often travel around different places in the cosmos. Did the family invite you here? Uh, I'd be happy to show you around. Yeah, we're kind of invited. Although the bloodhounds mistook me for a stowaway, 
I'm actually a local. My name is Firefly. Oh. And I'm from the Iris family. I work as a stage performer, although right now I'm just an extra. Oh, Firefly looks so cute. When there are no acting gigs, I work as a guide near Glocks Avenue. If you don't mind, I can show you all the exciting things around here. Maybe if I do my job as a guide, people will stop suspecting me. <laughs> don't you have work today? Well, I'm not booked for any performances. And most visitors to Pentacony don't need tour guides anyway. They're all big shots who have their own entourage with them. Well, you have a job now. Can you accompany me? <laughs> Thanks. Let's go. Okay, let's go. The first stop most people head to as soon as they arrive in the Dreamscape is the OT Mall. The Dreamscape sales stores here is super famous. There are also stores that sell luxury goods, apparel, trendy toys, and even cars. As long as you have enough alfalfa coins, you can buy anything you fancy. I think I've already had a handful of those coins. Items purchased in the Dreamscape can also be brought into reality through an extra service. Unfortunately, the transfer of automobiles to the real world is not available at the moment. You can come back for them next time. Just outside the mall is the plaza! Follow me! I'll buy you a nice meal. A kid's meal. <laughs> We're here. Hey, have you ever heard of this saying that goes, In a dream, hunger is the most precious spice. First time I've ever heard that. Well, you can find all kinds of local delicacies here. Clocky pizza, oat cake rolls, alfalfa salad, and the classic Soul Glad. Feel free to pick up anything you like. Today it's my treat. I think I would love that clocky pizza. Thanks, that's very nice of you. <laughs> You're welcome. Wait, this is a new currency? 20,000 fireflies budget. Oh, no, it's her <laughs> credits. <gasps> Ooh. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna take the pizza. Okay, some drinks. Just one. Is it okay to... You know, use all of her credits at once? No, I'm gonna save... Okay, that's about it. Are you done ordering? Then I'll pay up. I love their oat cake rolls. I get one from here every day. Doesn't that get expensive? Well, that's why I only have one per day. Oh, okay. Let's walk while we eat. It's time to head to the next stop. Over here. Follow me. Please come this way. Let me show you something interesting. Look! That's the statue of Clocky, Penacone's famous cartoon character. You know what? It reminds me of Bendy and the Ink Machine, if you're familiar with that game. Is that correct? It's the oldest and most famous animation from Penacony. It follows the adventurous life of Clocky and his friends in the town of Dreamville. To date, over 10,000 episodes have aired. His character design is a little surrealist. Yeah, sort of. Um, I guess it's because the animation has a retro style? Uh-huh. By the way, do you know that Clocky's design is said to be inspired by none other than the legendary watchmaker? Who's the watchmaker? I can't believe you haven't heard of him. He was a legendary tycoon in the history of Penacony, the founder of the Dreamscape, the man who turned dreams into reality. The founder of Dreamscape? There are 
different stories out there about the watchmaker's origin. Some said he was a traveling merchant from beyond the sky. Some claim that he was exiled to Pentaconia's prisoner. And some speculate that he wasn't even a real person, just a symbol. The true story is anyone's guess, but everyone aspires to emulate his success and be the next watchmaker. So this watchmaker is anybody's interpretation. As his inspiring story became known across the cosmos, those with a dream flocked to Penaconi in droves. They held feast after feast, eventually building the planet of festivities we have today. Everyone in Penaconi knows this name. The cartoon character Clocky is portrayed as reckless and full of hot air. But I believe the real watchmaker was a nameless. After all, creating the dreamscape sounds like just the kind of thing a trailblazer would do. <sighs> Hold on. If the watchmaker really was a nameless, wouldn't that make him your predecessor? Would you like to take a picture with him? Um... Is this a good idea? I think I'll pass. I'm allergic to camera lenses. No, not really. Because March 7 always takes a picture with both of us. I'll just thank her. My pleasure. Here, give me your phone. Okay, I'm seeing this tail. <laughs> Something is stuck in there. Huh? What's that? Oh, it looks like there's something on Clocky's face. Help! Help me! Pull me off! Help me! You want a photo with him? Sure. Please give me your phone. I'll take it for you. Let's make this centered. Hmm. It's done. It came out great. You're very photogenic. Um, when you're referring to a photogenic character, that would be March seventh. Aren't we gonna help that creature? <laughs> Wait, I, I I didn't intend to do that. I misclicked. I need to be prepared. Oh. Should we go to the tree? Probably. There's a reward in it. Or maybe next time? Is there something wrong with Clocky's statue? Why did you suddenly jump just now? Wait. She haven't seen that tail in the bird? Oh. Wait, I rescued a bird. A bird with sharp edges and points. A bird with sharp edges and points. <laughs> um, I don't think I saw it. So I'm the only one who saw it. Well, <laughs> if you're okay, let's move on to the next stop, which is just a stone's throw away from here. Please follow me. Don't say I'm hallucinating, okay? Can you see that building in the distance? That's the famous Grand Theater, another great landmark of Penaconi. That's a pretty unique shape, doesn't he? In the real world, it was originally the central prison of Astana. The family renovated it in the dreamscape and transformed it into the glorious Penaconi Grand Theater. Since the moment it was built, 
the Grand Theater has graced the entire dreamscape with its rendition of the Odes of Harmony. During the Once in an Era Charmony Festival, family members will gather at the theater to welcome the harmonious choir that blesses Penacone with everlasting peace. And here we are! The best viewing spot in all of Golden Hour. Look! There's even a telescope here! When the Charmony Festival arrives, remember to be here early if you want to get a seat. That place up ahead is Idine Park. Everything here is themed around Soul Glad. It's a little crowded, so make sure you sit close to me. This is the largest park in Golden Hour. It represents the soda culture of Penacone. The gigantic soda bottle houses the headquarters of the Soul Glad Enterprise. I would love to be in here because I love soda. <laughs> Soul Glad is said to have originated from a sweet medicinal syrup popular during the prison era. Invented by a man named Susa, it was thus called the Susa Juice. Ideen, an interstellar traveling merchant, saw the potential in the beverage and purchased the formula. Ideon then carbonated the beverage and renamed it Soul Glad. He also pioneered the school of thought known as Syrupism, in which he promoted the consumption of Soul Glad as a new kind of lifestyle. And just like that, he created a commercial miracle. Syrupism? Is this a new religion or ideology? <laughs> Where do I sign up? <laughs> Did you know? One of the ingredients in the original recipe for Susa juice, known as Dreamleaf, has gone extinct. That means the only place you can get a taste of Apocal Soul Glad is in Penacone's Dreamscape. Now this is also the only place where one can fully experience the core values of syrupism. I just can't. I just can't with the syrupism. Wait, what's happening? Um, what are you looking at? Oh, that is kind of creepy. Time waits for no one. Let me show you around. Wait, what is that? Now you're getting sus. Hi there. This is my friend's first visit to Pinnacony. May I get some Ideen tokens for her? Of course. Please show me your dreamscape pass. Name. Here's your dreamscape pass and tokens. Be sure to keep a good hold of them. Have a good time! How many tokens are there? Ten! You may now enjoy the attractions in Penacone to the fullest. Thanks! <laughs> Let's try out some of the games nearby. Our goal is to use all the tokens. That's a lot of pressure, yeah. You need to use all the tokens. Not at all. You're gonna lose all of, I mean, spend all of them in no time once you start playing. Just try it and you'll see. Okay. Since this is your first time here, I say we start with the easiest games. The Dreamy Slots and Lucky Wheel are pretty straightforward. Okay, let's try this. Wow! You won something on your first attempt! Impressive! Oh, I got the big prize! All right. Seven trigram on both ends. The third to last line says, "Hmm, today is a good day for public service and overtime." I should have used Ching Chue on this slot machine. <laughs> That'll be perfect. I've used up all the tokens. Time to meet Firefly. Did you have fun? Well, kind of. Penagoni's golden hours. 
pretty amazing, isn't it? It's all right. No, I can't say it's. I've seen better places on other worlds. I can't compare it to Bellabog. <laughs> hmm. You sound a bit sad. I'm not sad. It's just that this dream is so loving and forgiving. It's fast and deep like an ocean. Even the humblest people can find solace here. <laughs> I really appreciate your help earlier today. That's why I took the chance to introduce this beautiful place to you. It was willing to accept me, even though I didn't belong here. I've grown very fond of this place, and that makes me want to <laughs> share it with others. I want to know Firefly's background even more. Aren't you a local? I am. At least for now. At least for now. So you are like Gwynaithen in the Jianzhou, right? No, she's making that face again! <laughs> Come closer. Closer, please. I have a question for you. What's the matter with her? Did you travel here alone? My friends went to the other dreamscapes. Well, I am, at least for now. <laughs> I see. I'm not sure whether you've realized it or not, but I took you through a very long scenic route and visited all kinds of places just now because... Because of... Well... Someone's been following you. Oh. Don't turn around. I'm certain that you're his target. He's been on our tail since we parted ways with Mr. Gallagher. I didn't notice that. I wondered whether he was a friend of yours, but my instincts told me he wasn't. Who might that be? He's about five feet, nine inches tall, give or take. Judging from his strong build, it's clear that he's well trained. He walks in long strides, but his steps are light and barely audible. That way of walking doesn't leave footprints. He looks like a skilled fighter. The covert kind. He has large palms, yet his fingers are slender and nimble. I reckon he has experience using knives, like a short sword or a dagger. Do you know anybody like that? Maroon jacket, emerald eyes. Oh no! <laughs> this dude! It's Sepo! Ah, he's coming our way! Why is he following us? Hey, well, if it isn't my most loyal customer, the Trailblazer Girl. Why the hell are you here? It's been such a long time, old friend. Okay, I'm not that excited, but I'm glad I'm seeing a familiar face again. What a coincidence to run into you here. Oh my, I'm in luck today.